Hi, welcome to another edition of the RevReality.com Real Estate Referral Network video blog. In this video, we are going to be answering questions on buying a home and making an offer. If you're looking to buy a home, you can click the home search button, and if you're looking to sell a home, you can click the home value button. On to the topic. Welcome back. Here we have our agent, Heather Loper, who's going to answer a few questions for us. Heather, what home can I afford? Well, Kayla, that all, of course, depends on your financial obligations and your income. Um, there's some great tools online. I think Realtor.com has one where you can go in and get an idea of what it is that you can afford. The only way to truly know is to get with a lender and let them go through what they would call a pre-qualification or a pre-approval process so that you can learn you know, a little more about what you're, you're qualified to spend. Um, you know, it's really important to do that before you start the home search in an effort to not get disappointed if you find a home that you really fall in love with and then find out that it, it doesn't fall within what you can afford. Um, and, you know, the other part is the pre-approval makes you really appealing to the seller when you do put in an offer. Can I buy a home and sell my current home at the same time? Kayla, you can. That's the real estate equivalent of walking a tightrope. So, the tricky part about it is if you go ahead and purchase a home before you've sold yours, you could overextend or get yourself in a tight spot in terms of trying to carry two mortgages. Um, you know, the other option is to sell, though then you have to, to find a place to rent while, um, while you find a new home. Um, there is also a contingency contract that you can do, which you put an offer in on a home contingent upon you selling your current home. Um, sometimes sellers are not um, really drawn to that scenario just for the fact that nothing's written in stone. All right. How many homes should I see before making an offer? Well, that depends on you, Kayla. Um, every buyer is a little different. Um, the average home buyer looks at about five properties before finding the right one. Um, the real key is for you to understand what your needs are and wants are, the individual buyer to understand what their needs and wants are, and also for them um, uh, giving that information to their, their agent. Um, the agent, if, if they truly understand the buyer's wants and needs, they usually can hone in on the top five, six, seven properties that match their criteria. Um, some things that a buyer can also do before actually starting to look at homes is to do some riding around, check out neighborhoods and have an understanding of what neighborhoods or area they really want to be in. What do you think the seller will accept as a fair price? Well, you can usually take 5% off the list pricing. You're not going to upset a seller. Um, nobody truly understands how low a seller is willing to go. Um, if, the, if the house has been sitting on the market for a long time, you can probably go more than that. You know, your, your agent will be able to pull comparable solds and give you an idea of what the, um, the home may be worth and um, certainly come up with a strategy that will help um, in determining where to start. Should I get a home inspection? Absolutely. Um, you know, a home inspector is going to look at the plumbing, electrical, AC, HVAC systems, um, and many other things. And in the, the grand scheme of what you're investing in, in a home, which, you know, usually it's the largest purchase that you'll make in your, in your life, um, a home inspection is not that much. And it really gives the buyer a peace of mind in knowing that they're buying a sound property. And if there is something that comes up on the inspection that, that gives alarm, then you can negotiate for repairs and, and know that going in so you don't close and then find out, you know, a month later that there's something terribly wrong with the property. Now you have more information on the process of buying a home and making an offer. If you have any additional questions, please give us a call and we would love to assist you. Have a great day.